We are seeing a weird shift in the heating and air industry and I wanted to do a video on it. One of the things that I've noticed here recently is a lot of heating and air guys or companies are looking at inverters as a solution, an end all solution to things. And I think that in some respects that makes sense, especially if you're talking about a communicating inverter system, not these systems that are non-communicating. If you're not quite sure what I'm talking about there, I did a video on that recently. If you check out our YouTube videos where we talk about communicating versus non-communicating inverter systems. But what we're seeing is we've seen heating and air guys in the past as time went on, there are some that even today have pushed back against inverter systems. They think that they're not a good solution for one reason or another. I have been doing multiple videos debunking some of those myths where guys will say things like, oh, well, they don't actually save you money or they, oh, they have more breakdowns and things like that. I've been debunking a lot of those myths in our videos. So now the interesting thing is we've seen a shift. Now, again, I'm sure we still have guys that fall on that side that they just still think that that's not a good solution for their customers and they don't even offer them. But now we've seen this shift to a lot of guys saying, well, they do dehumidify really well. So if I've got a, a space that humidity is a concern, I'm going to just use that as my end all solution, a communicating inverter system. Or they may say, I'm not quite sure what size heating and air system should be in here. In some cases, they did not do a proper heat load calculation, or for one reason or another, they just for some reason will oversize it anyway. But that's another thing they'll do is they'll oversize the system in some cases on purpose and install a communicating inverter system as well. But I wanted to do this video because I just want to drive it home. If you're a consumer, you're buying a heating and air system, you're considering all your options, you're getting prices and you're not quite sure, you know, what's the best solutions here. I want to drive home real quick that I don't think as great as these systems are, there's such a, a leap in advantages and how great they work. I don't think that they should be replacing our typical traditional ways of doing things properly. Meaning if you haven't done a proper heat load calculation, I still think you should. Meaning if you have a place, a home that you're concerned about humidity and you're not quite sure as far as dehumidification and all that good stuff, there are certain things that you need to do to make sure that's done properly. And again, I just don't think that you should get away from doing all of those things. So if you do consider an inverter system, a communicating inverter system, such as we're a Daikin dealer, we install the, a lot of the Daikin fits, I think they're great. I think that they do solve a lot of issues, especially when you're talking about a lot of the issues we've had traditionally, like systems that are not sized properly, ductwork that's not sized properly, homes that need to dehumidify better than they used to and on and on and on. But I just think that even if you install a communicating inverter system like the Dyke and Fit, that if you've got a contractor that's cutting those corners, I just had a guy recently, that's what prompted me to do this video. He's like, well, we'll just stick an inverter in there. So I won't have to worry about doing any of that stuff. And I just said, I think that you should. I still think you should know that things are sized and done properly, whether you install a single stage system or a communicating inverter system. Just my argument. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear about them. If you fall on that spectrum and you actually think I'm wrong, I'd love to hear about that. Comment down below. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about how to break down comparing HVAC systems in today's market. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.